Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Hillary 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara. I have Brother Dan with me. Brother Dan has a wow prophecy. He just said wow. Uh, you can join me. I'm going to be in, let's see, 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 1, let's see, verses 3 to 10. And the title of the passage in the New King James Version Study Bible is God's Final Judgment and Glory. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting, because your faith grows exceedingly, and the love of every one of you all abounds toward each other, so that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure, which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you also suffer, since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you and give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power when he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe because our testimony among you was believed. That's powerful. Wow. Yes. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I have a word that I want to read. I got this word on August 7th. 2012. Speak, O son of man, of the season of the year. Speak of my judgment. Will all men not stand in front of me at my appointed time? Will the reaper not harvest the field of wheat? Do I not see what is in thy soul and render judgment? accordingly? Does time not remain vigilant, for it knows that its end is near? Will those who wrap themselves in the cloak of deceit be visible to me? Shall not my triumph be complete on this great and terrible day of the Lord? Fortify thyself. For the sirens of hell grow louder as I draw near. Will the odor of death not open your eyes to what is to come? Shall the truth still not offer its hand for salvation? Shall the days of trials not begin in earnest? Speak of the days of destruction. Speak of my wrath. Shall not the mighty men of battle bend their knees to my judgment? Shall water remove the sins from man's blood-soaked hands? Shall not the fruits of thy bounty wither on the vine? Shall I not render worthless all men's wealth? Shall pestilence not cover the land? I shall bring forth much destruction on these wicked people. They shall be consumed by their own evil. Wow. Wow. Amen. Praise the Lord and amen on that. And uh, again, there's uh, the great terrible day of the Lord. And there is the days of destruction. I think we have another one up there titled Sudden Destruction. And um, again... The Lord is giving, a, this is a judgment message, so you're wanting to not be here at this time. You don't want to go through this judgment. So you want to repent and be baptized in Jesus' name. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that, Acts 2.38. And I'm very excited. I had how many people message us and send me uh, little comments here and there, how they were getting baptized or how they already did. Uh, praise the Lord and welcome to the club. And uh, I want to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. That's Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. The Lord offers a complete cancellation of spiritual debt and a brand new beginning to anyone who responds to His Word. 
So again, come forward, come forth, uh, join uh, the Lord for eternity. Thank you, Brother Dan, awesome message. Uh, join us again, God's Hiller 7 channel. And again, my backup channel is called Fear of God 7. And Brother Dan uh, named that one. So thank you all of you out there. Amen. Praise the Lord.